Hello you, it's my yard 2 and welcome to the channel. It's time for some W2K22 gameplay. Here's HPK as an old man with Beth Phoenix. Here's William Steele and Eddie Guerrero in the showcase mode at WrestleMania. Here's some Sasha and Asuka and a Chokeslam and Hell in a Cell that's red. And Damien Priest and Roman Reigns and an Edge entrance. There's even more gameplay. There's 10 minutes worth of gameplay to show you. I'm not going to be able to cover everything properly in one video, it will last forever, but I'll be live streaming and talking about it and doing lots of different things over the coming days. But this one will be more my first impressions, my generalizations and my gut feeling of it because I've not played the game yet, I don't know how it's going to work out yet, I have some reservations without a doubt when it comes to it. Some of the models look fantastic, other models I don't like Bianca's hair, I don't think that looks great in all honesty. Certainly better than 2K20, but not fantastic. Sawa looks great. Damien looks great. Anyone with hair, long hair, the beards just don't look right either. And AJ's hair as well here just doesn't look out of place. But here in the showcase, this these cutscene, move cutscene animations, look awesome. So it's there's good and bad, certainly even with this um, gameplay report that the guys at 2K development have given us. Um, I want to focus on two things before we get into the main gameplay of a full match. Oh my god. Uh, one versus the AI by the looks of things. Is the ringside report showing off the controls and explaining the control system. There is light attacks, heavy attacks and grapples. Uh, a reversal button for those like attacks. But for countering uh, combos and grapples you actually press the corresponding uh, X, A or B button that the opponent's trying to hit. I think that's probably going to make it too complex, unless the Y button also works. Um, they're saying it doesn't for grapples, which I think might be making things too complicated for the average player, but we'll see how that goes. The other major thing is showing off that the health meter, which we knew was a health meter, a special meter covers both signatures, comebacks, and a certain abilities, and then the finisher meter, which you can stack up to three times. I'm worried about signatures being used in the same meter as a resiliency payback. Because why would you use your signature if you've still got the payback to that uses less? It's one of those things. We don't know how the paybacks work in this year. If they've been used multiple times or it's one time use, we'll have to wait and see on that. But signature needs a full three bars for it to be effective. Now on to the gameplay. You saw an X there for obviously countering a strike. Um, there's a lot of animations here, the pinfall, the camera angle, it makes the ring look small. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It, it feels very tiny, it doesn't look like there's much space. That's not a bad thing. I'm a bit unwary of the referee badges, that seems like a glaring problem that hopefully gets fixed. Hopefully this shouldn't be the final build of the game as far as we are aware. Striking system. I mean, it's a grappling, it's a wrestling game. There is rollers and stuff, but most of the time you would be going for the grapple moves. So we'll see how the combos work. We need to get really into the creative move set, see the combo animations, see how these combos work and stuff. There's also a stunned mechanic, which is pretty much, by the looks of things, taking over TNA Impact's uh, old genre way. If you did enough moves, they would be permanently stunned for X amount of time. Um, they'll still stay down if they're taking damage and stuff, but the stunning animation, whether they can counter while stunned, I, they, they're not explained, I don't think, unless they've been silly. Answers on a postcard, please, because I'm not sure on that one. But we've still got five weeks, we'll get more answers to more stuff. And the pin bar is a kick out bottom bash. I'm not happy with that. I'm do hoping we do see the, um, the better of the timing aspects. I know for younger kids, Button bashing would be the easier option to understand to play the game, rather than focusing on timing. Hate that moon salt. That ropes do not go on his feet. That needs to be uh, twigged a bit. We've got a choke slam. Some of the counter animations do look a lot smoother. Um, they're cutting bits out, so we'll, we'll assume they're just trying to trim it just to make it look a bit prettier. Bouncing on off the ropes, sent on with a pin combo. Interesting. It's, we need to see it with two big guys, we need to see it with... There's loads of different scenarios we need to see. We need to see the weapons being used a lot more, with the, the same weapons get traded, like Kendall stick and stuff. Bringing back the old days of the chairs, actually, after so many uses, they disappear. Shame that didn't happen with the baseball bat in the old case. <laughs> oh, the old days. 
uh, now you've seen the, the gameplay alongside the uh, control scheme, the dodge is meant to be used um, as a sort of more higher risk way of um, avoiding strikes and stuff. The block button will stop running strikes and uh, of that nature as well, which is great. Um, won't stop running grapples though, of course. So yeah, yeah, the strategy involved, despite having unlimited reversals, they've made it so there's more options rather than just one button. They're saying that through their play testing that there's a lot more swings of people getting control and advantage and vice versa. I do like the red effect when you're low on health. I, I think that's a nice little sort of, uh oh, it's getting tough out here sort of um, manoeuvre. I think that's a great thing. There's little subtle things here and there that seem to be working. I just, I need to play it. I need to play it. I got to play it. I need to play it. Because I can't give a full, I mean, holy cow, the AJ, uh, Kip Hop Hobokimana. Ray has a counter that turns in the Spanish fly, which I'm assuming is the same Spanish fly counter that we saw in the trailer with Sasha Banks. I don't like seeing unique counters like that that are really cool on superstars that would never do that in real life. I think that takes away from it. Here it is. I think that takes away from the sort of um, realism side of things. Which you want to keep as real as possible doing a move that. And to be honest, he's not going to be able to lift up. It's an exploder suplex, a Spanish fly. Realistically, you're not going to be able to lift him up to do it. It's kind of a, you know, logic, logic, logic. Oh, it's the momentum of him doing a backflip. You still need a lot of force to do it. Up to the top rope he goes. There's obviously weight limits on here as well that's stopping them from, away from lifting Damien Priest, which, to be honest, is. He might be able to lift him. It'd be different if it was Big Show or Kane, I suppose. Ray is getting on in years. He's built, bulked himself up. It's not Ray 95, where he is a proper, proper cruiserweight. I'm, overall, I don't think it hits different enough from what I'm seeing. There's enough that it certainly departs itself from 2K20. I think there is still a lot that needs work on this. You've seen some of these strike animations are new, some of these strike animations are existing ones. Some of these counters, like that DDT mid-move reversal, is unique there. I'm assuming, yeah, unlike in previous years with the double counter mid-move reversal means you can encounter another thing for a little while, you're able to just get into it. A coup de gras, yeah, why not? Double stomp, and he's stunned. I'm assuming he can't counter it. That would be the hunch if you're stunned, which would set you up to be doing unblockable moves. Is that a good thing to have unblockable moves? Uh, <laughs> in a strategy type game when it's limited reversals, where there's strategy involved for it? Yes. Um, in a game where literally one tiny little strike can make them stunned, I think that might be an issue. Again, I don't know until I play the game. I want to be able to play 1v1s and Fatal 4 ways to see the difference on how, how the strategy and the gameplay would change by having multiple people in the ring. That's the chaos thing. We know from seeing the Xbox um, news reports or whatever that on the Xbox store that it says eight players online. So having eight players online, we need sort of smooth gameplay. We need to be able to be seamless to be able to go from one person to another. Hopefully that is the case. We're just seeing a 1v1 match. So we don't know at the moment. You see the little bar that appeared for Ray to target in someone. I wonder if you can target the ref in a 1v1 match. That'd be cool. Irish whip animation, the steps, a lot of the weapons and stuff look a lot more stronger, they look tougher. They don't look like weak paper thin things even though most of the animations are probably the same. Whipping them in into the apron, gonna do a wake up taunt, which doesn't seem to use a special ability so it just seems to be normal. He's gonna just dodge it, nasty dodge, it's going for the knee, doing another knee. Oh no, it's, the, it's after this. It goes for a little mini curb stomp. Knee, and then one more knee. Dodges. And then flash forward a little bit to whipping him back into the ring. There is a little head there. I wonder if that is a an ability that's been activated, or if that's proper head damage. Uh, they've not explained that bit yet. Hopefully we'll get an understanding. It could be a comeback, it could be a payback. Your guess is as good as mine. He is stunned. One and a two. That's a very slow count, Ray. 
Ref, you should be doing a better job if your two counts that freaking slow. He's going to pick him up. I think the stun's gone, yeah. Oh, he's still trying to lift him up. He's got no health, I know, but come on, momentum. Spanish fly. <laughs> Into the ropes. Ropes look a bit springy, but I would like to hear your thoughts, your impressions. Please let me know in the comment section below because we're about to hit the end of the gameplay. A bit of glitchy on that grapple. Hitting a split leg of Muso, which Ray has done in the past. Boom, boom. Let me know. Let me think your thoughts, your feelings towards this. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more WWE 2K22 goodness. And then we'll give you more thoughts in the next video. And I might even stream. So go check me out on Twitter. That is my yard. And I'll see you next time. Take it easy. See you later. Bye-bye. You can break out. Woohoo.